it's very very important for you to know the time here date today is october the first two thousand and nineteen it's what it is this is a very very important document that I do have to utilize I have to utilize this very very important stuff because this is what I was taught I was taught that this is going to be a form of help for you um, if things are not going to work out and I quite deem that you know since I'm here for one year and two months in this area and last year I was looking for a place and the only ch the, the cheapest place there was out there was a 700 zloty place with a price reduction actually excuse me really 650 with a price reduction nothing what you see here it was like this is crazy I mean that's 300 zloty forget about uh, nothing like this was ever offered or anything like this close to that um with a price reduction of 100 zloty from 750 the offer was for like i think it was about like maybe eight square meters something like this the price offered was 650 and this was because the gentleman i understand knew the lady who brought me to that place other than that you couldn't even think about anything for less than 750 now what you see this is basically what you see this is now the new picture this is repeated video because somehow along the way I was disconnected I do not know how uh, but these things do happen. Is it either Bluetooth or is it Wi-Fi? Um, I should say this isn't a Wi-Fi. This is actually 4G right now I'm using. Directly, I'm not using Wi-Fi. Um, but, you know, it really doesn't matter. What matters is to accent that what I see here, uh, except for a few locations like this that are offered for the workers that you see right the, right here, never ever existed never ever was offered um, on this market never ever in fact what you see here like this here I don't actually even remember this here I do not even remember I'm not sure maybe this one really was maybe it was not let me see this a little closer this one actually i do remember this was present i i have seen this one here do not remember this and i would not share i wouldn't be in this shared uh, environment anymore i would not be interested in that because of the stuff I have gone through um, over there uh, with one of the previous landlords here in Sgirsch and in Grotica itself. I would not go through any of the stuff like this. I don't remember seeing this. might have been might have not been i have no idea do not remember any of this stuff here do not remember any of the stuff like this uh, for the next two ads might be might not be i do not remember the point here is that this is the stuff that should be out there because these are the people that should offer for a workers are watching 
it's especially unusual and I'm not sure I'm not saying that what you see right now that this is not the reality for this place here but I can guarantee you that last year it was not especially because of the time of the year right now is October and the expenses for heating um, go of course electricity heating it goes up everything goes up so to come up with a, such a huge market uh, that offer a variety below like 600 zloty uh, is for me personally since I've been here for a year and two months searching for the places is extremely extremely unusual it's like a super super unusual like super 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 unusual stuff something like this forget it uh, a dream maybe unrealistic stuff and actually this is shared but it's really cheap now well I have already explained my position in respect to that stuff most of the stuff not existed it's new and the worst yet the weirdest I should say yet it gets when it gets to the private housing um, now I do need to document this for legal purposes when it gets to the private housing uh, you're about to see I'm just gonna skip this here and we'll try to get to a price range to about 300 and up something like this but folks most of the stuff you see here did not exist for the shared housing I would never ever go and pay 20 zloty for the room this I would not pay to be with people you don't even know inside of the room and to have repeatedly your stuff destroyed um, this would be a really, really, I think, I DM quite a crazy decision. But anyways, this is old one. I do remember that kind of stuff. I'm just going to skip. I'm going to go to the page um, number four I just did. I don't know anything about this stuff. Sometimes uh, what they do is they just uh, get you to a certain page they advertise they try to advertise oh, so I'm gonna go to five right now you know it's kind of a weird stuff they use to push commercials forward and so on it loads kind of slowly and then it's it rearranges itself in a such a way very slowly so load the page with commercials so that you would go and click on something that you shouldn't and get something they basically get paid for when you click on it I'm actually even gonna go
the story was, if things are not going to go well for you, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to boost the apartment market so that you can quickly get something else. What exactly they had in mind, it's completely evident. Um, when you are exposed to a situation I was exposed to, uh, that's basically when you have a trouble with the pain in your legs, which is spreading down from the spine area. For the last two months, I say, in my fingers, in my right finger, my right hand, I could not even feel the, the middle finger. I It's like numb when you sleep. When you go sleep, it becomes numb. And then you wake up and then you have to eat something. Uh, you wake up all in pain. And then you have to walk a little bit back and forth. And then basically what you do is, um, once you start to work, lift those boxes and stuff like this, heavy stuff, then you start to feel one again. It's like normal. But this is the stuff that goes on now already for two months and a half. Today, I came to the resolution since last night I had a really, really hard time. It was very, very difficult to collect myself together from pain. I came to resolution I no longer will even use bicycle to work because the bicycle was not really meant uh, for us. Whenever the spine is abused to a heavy lifting, like between 15 to 20 tons a night, 12 hour shifts, um, you probably would be better off just walking rather than using bicycle to your work. That's because the spine has to warm up itself, the body has to warm up itself properly so that one can perform. Um, otherwise, the injury occurs. And so this was the first time I came to a uh, resolution that basically this is what I should do. If things are not going to work out for you, it's because for two months, 75% of time, I did not even spend at my workplace as contracted. I was contracted as a packer, as a, in a packer, and instead of that, they would take advantage and keep me in the area where I would lift heavy boxes, basically. Uh, pick the heavy boxes for everybody, um, including young men, not only females. Females would not even touch boxes, heavy boxes. Uh, and what I would do is I would place those boxes on pallets, one atop another, that would actually exceed my height. And those boxes were routinely about 20 kilos or even more. And then go and figure out what kind of job this is. Then maybe for the last two weeks, the work schedule changed because of my complaint, because of the conflict. It might have been actually even maybe three weeks or something like this. Actually, two weeks, I think, between two and three weeks. I was finally assigned to my work position where I could actually work about 50% of the time. As a matter of fact, the gentleman from Ukraine left about a week ago, uh, meaning that that happened about probably, I would say, I estimate about maybe... The, the most three weeks ago. So it would be the three of us that would change each other on that position. And the, since a week ago, it would just be myself and another individual from Ukraine also that would work at that location. 
mentioned location uh, because just because another people that they had they would not even go and do this kind of job for whatever reason that would be uh, it might be a stash it might have something to do with a privilege because you're working for a longer period of time in the company or whatever the reason might be um, it was not I'm not gonna say it was not equal but it was far from equal and very very impossible uh, literally designed for you to break your back injure yourself of course I would get fired like I did today because for my own sake this is what this would be because if they would see that I have injuries and stuff like this it would be the best thing to fire me in fact me getting fired it would only be according to MK Ultra scenario if I continue a temporary thing eventually position would be offered to me back uh, even with some money but of course I would not want one because the idea about it all was for me to try some other opportunities out there and of course all those opportunities are way better than the opportunity I just uh, I'm not gonna say lost but was basically thrown away from this is how according to MK Ultra diarrhea this was done and this is what I should believe in and just go by this is how that's done folks so the people actually even accept uh, being fired for completely unrighteous reasons go along with it whatever it was highly anticipated from me um, at this workplace to turn myself into a schizophrenic meaning that they would display they had the certain people that would display totally schizophrenic uh, like a hasty attitude toward work um, you know it's kind of a weird that this keep throwing me to the to the page over there and it's something that you should obviously resemble compete with because these are the people with longer stash they have mixed that kind of attitude also with aggressiveness so that they would get from you also aggressiveness so that you they would get like a feedback from you the work itself did not have designated work regulations based on how to perform job operations safety training was at maximum limited to pallets on how to position the pallet so the one would not fall on the feet of a person this was at max nobody mentioned on how to pick up the boxes uh, it was exactly the opposite it was anticipated not to use electric uh, gadgets when a super heavy objects like material that you would move like I don't know <sighs> I have no I have no idea how difficult how heavy stuff this was even that's actually a really good question but okay maybe 500 kilos maybe 800 kilos I have no idea how heavy these things were you would have to move uh, using basically your spine with a manual uh, trolley with manual uh, no well trolley or whatever you say that in English in a certain areas it was anticipated for you to do twisting bending repeatedly for 12 hours non-stop and lift heavy stuff from 15 to 20 tons and of course in my opinion 
are anticipated to accept a help, assistance, if things, in a parenthesis, would not work out for me, because this is what Kaczynski uh, designed in his madness, if things would not work out. Just like the present landlord said, we made the contract in a such a way that if things would not work out, you could just leave to Germany or UK and so on. So this is how this was done. And the present employer was in a complete agreement with other two landlords prior to this one. So that the stuff, the environment I was placed in, the, bur the continuous burglarization, destruction, vandalization of a private property, which took place, uh, theft of the property, which took place at these locations, uh, would not leave you at peace, at mind, when you would go at work. And the work itself was done in a such a way that you would not receive the instruction regulations for the workplace, but um, rather than that, you were, I was placed into MKUltra environment where a heavy MKUltra took place in the past and completely discouraged from using mind. Just as I was discouraged from learning Polish language in Grotnikach, this time I was discouraged literally from using brain with a terror. I'm going to explain how. If you would try to do the job, you would have your co-worker meddling in the stuff you do in your operations. Um, highly unusual, you were discouraged from performing your job. They demanded you to work slowly your stuff so you can, this was a pretense, so you could learn to do it fast. Now the problem with that is if you grasp fast and you're continually disturbed, you was continually disconnected from the computer, computer system would continue to disconnect me from, uh, from the internet, from the system. So I would continue to have to log in myself and continue to input data for a products so that I could scan them again, weigh them again, and push them forward, and so on. Uh, talking about heavy products. If you would somehow, as soon as you would, let's say, gather your mind and start to do the right thing, despite the fact that you were not even told on how to properly do the job, if you would do this stuff, Immediately, the co-worker, one of the co-workers would come and would start to meddle in the stuff you do. Uh, it doesn't matter. Maybe he would move the printer back and forth, start to do something to the printer so it would not work. Um, you know, do some kind of a weird stuff. Had a guy basically laughing like mad, calling my name across on the other side for no reason when he would get attention which I shouldn't even pay attention to the person like this, because this is inappropriate conduct in the first place, it would be disregard. It didn't matter, and so on. It was all kinds of stuff that went on, and so it was disturbing. Uh, and especially disturbing was the background of MK Ultra that lasted at this place that went for so long. And when you mix in this kind of environment, this kind of things, and you get this subliminal signs and so on, uh, that extended all the way to the food consumption and, um, you know, all kinds of issues like this, boy, um, it becomes disturbing, the whole thing. Extremely disturbing. So this is in case the things would not work out. In Polish, they say, obluda, they say, dvolichevost. Translated to English, a bigotry. Pretense. None of the stuff that you see ever, ever, ever. Seriously, anything like this could possibly be imagined will be offered one day on the market. This is just like a, almost it sounds like a, Imagination what I see here in front of me.
almost like imagination. And this is redone video. This is redone over. So they took the time. I should go to optometrist and get things going for the stuff that needs to be done. And instead, what they do is they do this. This also happened just nine days prior to uh, what would be my third pay, which would basically qualify me to apply for a credit. Credit would resolve for me rental situation and instead of paying what I pay right now would probably leave me with half of the cost in respect to the rental situation. Plus that, you know, you would own one uh, and bearing that in mind that definitely this would be your place. You would not be exposed anymore to the constant burglarizement and so on. Frequently changing routine job related to a timing, I have to say, for which I never ever was late. Despite my being without a watch for the last, I don't know, maybe five months now, the most impressive, perhaps, attempt to disrupt me with timing was even the magnetism used to the workplace, which was repeated according to MK Ultra scenario to the point that with magne magnets, they would disable the watch. You know, I bought the watch. What you basically do is you try to get something that when you don't have money, when you are trying to save the money, and it's exactly the same mistake I have done as other people did prior to me, bought watch with the magnet belt which was demagnetized and thrown basically thrown literally thrown from my hand under uh fair clifter which i drove at the time the trick i have seen they have done to american people when they worked in this location A new watch purchased about three weeks ago and then delivered maybe two weeks ago, something like this maybe, already became destroyed um, two days ago. I have found one uh, next to the, the toilet and just an individual involved in MK Ultra who was with me at the time when I picked up one in the postal office. I don't know, about two weeks ago, already insisted that the chief watches unfortunately have a problem with the batteries. Now, this watch either have a problem with the battery, I have a video separate to that, uh, or it was destroyed. I have to say that when I find one, found one, because the belt again was destroyed from the watch, so now if you don't lose the watch, the same thing that was done to me in the Belarus, where a really expensive watch was basically stolen from me like this. If you don't lose the watch like this, what happens is you end up, I don't know, repairing one or buying a battery, so whatever it is that you're whatever agony that you continue to do in respect to timing uh, you find yourself again in a situation that uh, again you are in trouble simple as this the watch once i found one was left not closed entirely but with about i would say a millimeter um space in a housing not closed entirely uh, and ever since since yesterday the watch no longer is working is falling far behind it's not performing as a as a watch accurately anymore is it just a battery that needs to be changed which is quite a deal uh, or something else uh, remains a questionable thing remains totally 
totally a questionable thing. Everything you see here right now, one year ago at this time of the year, like I said, did not exist. The cheapest was 650 with reduction of 100 zloty. All these private locations that you see here right now are crazy stuff. Uh, amazing stuff. None of this stuff, none of this stuff existed. This is actually expensive. This is like super, super, super cheap, and there were rentals out there. I'm going to repeat that. You could see even for way lesser money. Yeah, if you would see me at work, you would actually think that I am a retarded or something like this. I have displayed totally distress, a total distress. They, they cost me like a total... Um, amnesia and you would say like an Alzheimer because of what they have done <laughs> I mean this was so violently done that is almost unprecedented to describe what went on in this location and it looked like almost a normal environment it almost looked the whole thing looked like almost if it would be a normal environment well the people that were involved in MK Ultra suggested that I don't even know what this is but okay whatever that at this point in time I should not even be when I get to this point in time of MK Ultra scenario level I should not even stay in this area I should just move to another city uh, get myself together and then return here never mind stolen driver license never mind the stuff they have done uh they would not even want to register me at the local office uh, state office give me uh the right to register myself where i live and so on according to the law never mind the issue with the glasses have blind over there uh wandering around at work could not even read out the numbers and so on had another difficulty. Uh, the police itself promised that frames I will get, I would order from China. If I would order them from China, whatever I would do, they would go ahead and what they would basically do is they would damage them and so on before I would get them. It actually happened. First time they would not even deliver them. Hello, Jin Dobri. Jin Dobri. Um, no, tak jest, tak. E, proszę pani, jeszcze raz, mo może to mi, proszę. Jeszcze raz powtarzy. E, no. E, z kogoś, proszę? Aha. No ja nie jestem zainteresowany za to. Ja bardzo dziękuję wam. Przepraszam. Dobrze. Dziękuję wam. Do widzenia.
Um, well, this was a telemarketing call, or whatever. Uh, I thought that I did stop the recording. I did not. Uh, Mashinka de Golenia and so on. Yeah, uh, not needed right now. Machines for shaving. The thing is that the, the number of the issues they have involved that pertain to a basic necessity of a human being so one can function, um, it was just uh, totally, totally overwhelming. And once they realized that I did situate it myself, that things started to go for better, <laughs> what's actually offered to you instead? Um, no, really, I'm really being sarcastic here because really uh, after three months you can apply for the credit and you can easily purchase your home for really a monthly payment that is half of what rental is right now at this time. Um, believe me, I would no longer want to be burglarized, have clothing wet to the point that you could not even dry one uh, so you could come at work, so you could appear in a dry clothing at work. Even this kind of issues we have. I mean, this is shit is so disturbing, so sick that uh, truly, if you would not be mentally really strong, know what you're doing, uh, you would be in a real, real, real trouble. A real bigotry, bigotry, double-faced society in Poland. Uh, I really have to thank for the help, and I should say for the wishes, because it was a it was a lot of good wishes, but no practical uh, platform that. Uh, possibly could actually do something for someone. So, I don't know. Um, I did not click on this thing here. And I definitely would not be interested in one if I had the money. When the postal service will not even deliver you the stuff for the glasses, which destruction of the glasses was everything about the glasses, what's going to be with the glasses was a coating that was destroyed. Um, the first glimpse of gesture on MK Ultra was given to me in Grotnikich. By the other lady over there that pulled the glasses, the total reminiscent and mine. And then when I came here at work, my boss had reminded me of the situation with the glasses and how important they are and how you have to quickly purchase them so you can work function at all with them and so on. Uh, and this kind of issues extended further. And to the neighbors from this place that gestured me that I should literally leave the glasses inside and go out so she can come inside and spray me the glasses with some kind of liquid which is going to remove the coating and so on. Um, Americans played with the removal of the coating but insisted that I'm going to have to buy new glasses anyways and so on. Um, you know, when you do the person stuff like this that is in a financially impossible situation, to purchase another glasses and these are really expensive glasses um, yeah you could just work really for the driver's license one month and for the glasses this is this is the cost that you would basically of of glasses and of the driver license which was stolen I compare this kind of situation, literally in respect to glasses, to accident attack. It come, 
it has the same kind of background the mentality um, for me personally the mentality itself of doing something like this to the person is about the same one as if you would use exit and you would throw one in a person's face and that's why I'm really really not impressed very 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 unimpressed with I'm gonna say this type of assistance with this type of help with this type of hypocrisy double facedness bigotry that's really important to define um, I found it really really strange unusual weird that people would so much indulge themselves and gorge themselves with suffering of the human being as the Poles did when I was exposed to MK Ultra. They were obsessed. They were like, it was like they were totally obsessed with me coming over from the US being brought under MK Ultra for torture to Poland for 20 years. It was like joy, it was like excitement, it was like something that, you know, that, that, that disgusting, horrific experience. And that they would go literally and repeat this kind of stuff for which I should understand actually is a test rather than destruction of an individual. Uh, wow, I mean... This is just completely unprecedented and very much unacceptable from my side is how I see it is. If you would accept this kind of stuff as a test, and it was really the test done in a such a way that regardless of this, uh, there is nothing you possibly could do. This kind of stuff would never ever end. It never ends. It never ends. It never ended. It, came, it started with the day I applied for this political asylum in Poland. Actually in Slovakia. It started in Slovakia with this stuff. Actually it started in Belarus in 2017. Then in Slovakia where I applied for this protection. And then it extended all the way to Poland. Um, yeah, you would be really mad if you would... If you, would you would change reality for... You know, I don't know, a murderer, you would, you would mistaken a murderer with a, um, um, I don't even know how you say that, good um, Samaritan or something like that. Yeah, that's the correct word. None of what you see here, nothing like this ever. None of what you see here ever existed, ever, ever, ever. Now, I don't know whether it was the last year and they have regulated real estate like this or is this year. But along the way, I couldn't find, I was desperate to get out of this Grotniki situation. Completely desperate and I couldn't. For me personally, this is rather like a really, really scary experience uh, in respect to this real estate rentals. Scary uh, experience, I'm going to say, in respect to car purchasing, for which I was told the same would be done as with was done with the bicycles, um, the same as with my private property. Um, in this rentals completely totally the same identical stuff is what I was told the, the only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna work for the parts basically and truly if I would not have a place uh, if I would not have a place if I would not have a place um, of my own where I could park the car keep one safe just as myself it would be kind of a stupid thing to um purchase one at all i mean they dreamed about all kinds of stuff and they demonstrated also on that mk ultra what's going to be done i firmly believe i am certain absolutely this thing was video recorded and transmitted to the certain people 
which finance this outside of the Poland. And also snoops inside of the Poland in Russia and so on. It's supposed the whole thing so disgusting. You know, a patriotism started in Grotnikov where I was prior to even brainwashed uh, and brought the company where literally I would buy myself a Polish uh, signs and so on. Um, decorations, clothing decorations, which I have also handed, as I was told, that you have to handle this to certain people that would help you identify uh, existence uh, of MK Ultra. And so I would do, I would, I would go and I would thank people that would help me by giving them this things and so on and stuff like this. This is how it all started. And this destruction of property, Russians, they continue to destroy, 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 destroy. Till it became completely evident it's actually the police, the Gersh police, the one that they would literally come and be completely disturbed. Why am I even applying for political asylum in Grotniki? They would come at the door uh, asking me when I called for assistance because they would place me with a Russian who was involved in MK Ultra torture. In fact, a heavy torture. Um, in the same room, they would place him in the same room after I already have a conflict with him in another room. He had he attacked me physically. And then they would go place him inside of my room and told me from the Varsho when calling basically equal to 911 that they cannot help me out with the police uh, until I actually have a physical conflict with the individual. So they basically incited in a physical conflict. Wow. Uh, and when this police officer appeared, they were disturbed. Why am I even applying for the political protection in Poland? Along the way, this patriotism demonstrated that all these landlords and all these people that I dealt with were actually not even Russians, they were Poles. So it became clear that this this probe, if you like, this test didn't have much to do with the test. It's, the whole thing was concentrating to something else that I already have explained about. Something you cannot overcome because it will never go away until we completely destroy you. This is what Kaczynski did. And I doubted that he even created in the minds of some people a vision that it could be different than what it is. I totally doubt about it because the society itself is completely controlled. What supposed steadily would be a position from Kaczynski are actually his lap dogs. So when you go out on the street, and that's what I did all the time along the way, when I got those singles for the people and all that kind of stuff, I have completely disregarded them. I stick to the normal ways. Um, not the brainwash under MK Ultra. This is how I have actually survived this shit. If I would have believed those kind of things and start with a mood fluctuation, mood change, and stuff like that, believe in those kind of stuff, I would, they would rip you apart completely mentally. <laughs> you would end up in some kind of a mental world or something like that. Ow, this is the reality about the Poland. You got to understand where you are, who you are dealing with. This is why I have posted this stuff, my view on the Pollock, my experience with the Pollock. I'm not going to give any kind of opinion about on anybody. The only thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to stress the facts. And I sincerely hope since these are the elections and I'm supposed to be moved you know, I supposed to be, um, right now, I supposed to be, I should feel like motivated with these elections to counter him, you know, drama and so on. Uh, opposed to that, I'm suggesting polls to vote for the conscience. Vote for the conscience just the way you did when you tortured under MK Ultra for 25 years. That's all you need to do. Vote for your conscience. Follow your conscience. That's all I got to say. Whatever it is that you understand under the conscience. 
That's all there is. Other than that, we have nothing to talk about. We will meet at the court and we will further discuss these issues at the court because all the roads lead to the Rome. Not in Rome, but equivalent to what Rome used to be. And I'm sure you understand the meaning. Whatever, I don't know what Kaczynski really is going to do for you. I do not know what Kaczynski have done for you. But I think with your conduct, you have done a lot against yourself. Because you have really, really revealed what type of background, where is it that you are coming from, and in which direction you are moving to. Never mind Fort Trump. It could be a Fort Hitler. If it would be a Fort Hitler, for you the difference would not be. It would be none. You can condemn whomever you want to condemn for the past, which I personally condemn. I condemn for what Germans did here in Poland to Polish people. No doubt that I condemn about that. It's why I heavily dislike Germany because of the stuff like this. Not only because of what they have done to me in, under my case. I condemn these things. I side with these people. I, I side with the people that have experienced pain. Um, however, this kind of attitude, this type of attitude did not differ. My experience with you did not differ from the one your dads, your moms have had with the SS in this country here. It does not differ. I'm going to accent this. And I'm telling you this, I am in Poland, where you tortured, and I'm telling you this right inside of the Poland, where you tortured, straight in your face. I'm not a person like you. I'm not dualist. I'm not. I'm not obloda person. This is not what I am. I'm right here in Poland, and I'm telling you like this, right here, right now, both. For your conscience. Stick to your conscience. Whatever that might be. So folks, you can see that the market completely, completely exploded. With the offers. which is really, really nice. But I'm afraid, for me, it's not going to be. American who was here, they completed complete schizophrenia, complete paranoia. It was all kinds of issues they involved in this very location where I'm at right now. You get fired because you went to the other location. Indirect. I went to the other location and then I ended up paying for the transport. This is the way it was. Under MK Archer, the issues they involve in this. I'm just saying, and this brainwash went on and on and on and on. The job demands which exceeded a normal um, ability as the person to perform one created issues such as that Americans would actually gesture that it's the neighbor that is using some sort of technology some sort of torture weapon, radiation, whatever, that creates severe problems in a spine that actually worsens the situation. And this is the stuff they started to play already over there at the first location 
the first landlord here in Zgerish Otro, I gotta say that it was kind of a weird that I was in unbearable pain for quite unknown reason. And then one day I was completely without the pain after I don't know how many days that I have gone with the pain. And then the next day in pain would again explode and stuff like this. And yeah, I was told that individual from Ukraine, there were two other individuals with me inside of the room, actually more, um, by one of the individuals who was involved with this MK Ultra that they're going to be using this kind of stuff and that um, they will probably destroy him because he was very pro-Ukrainian and this guy back then he was pro-Russian. Uh, lately, however, it seems like he did change and become very pro-Ukrainian and I think it was the war in Crimea in Donetsk that changed him. Nevertheless, the other individual that I was told that he will be crippled with this type of technology barely can walk. Is it because of the work he would suffer? Uh, or maybe some other issues? I do not know. I don't know if this kind of technology actually exists. They did talk about something, I don't know, about the blood cells, whatever, that stuff they can do. Um, that they can intensify the pain like this, intensify one, they can intensify swallowing uh, of portions of the body with radiation. I have no idea if that is real, if that's possible or not, due to job that have greatly exceeded uh, demand, uh, work demand greatly exceeded um, capabilities of human being I have no idea about that kind of stuff uh, but this is a stuff they have insisted suggested on in fact they have suggested that in fact they have suggested that for this location here that I should eventually persist insist till I get this money till I get this credit that I have to do this that I have to sacrifice even in fact pay for the rent and sleep inside of the forest if it's going to get too painful and have pointed out me the certain locations inside of this place here where I should sleep in order to avoid attack from the neighbor. This is the reality I am talking about and it is disturbing to be in a situation like this. This is not pleasant. It's very highly disturbing. Uh, an individual really could find himself in a uh, in a little bit more than a testing situation but I think foremost this is a degradation situation I think that this is a systematic destruction of an individual the breakdown and it's what I was told Zgirsh, back to Zgirsh this is where you turn yourself into a shit because in Grotnika from all this walk back and forth I did um, I did lost a lot of weight and I really did not understand how am I going to turn myself in shit in Zgirsh. And I probably did gain some weight because of the pain, because of this kind of suffering. Uh, and now basically when I think about the mental status on how they have affected one, that totally I'm going to say displayed the signs of Alzheimer, of dementia literally. Uh, I really do understand exactly what they meant by this, and it's why I'm going to insist on having these people prosecuted. Um, it was a little bit different idea I had before about this whole thing, but because of what took place just now, today, like this, I am forced to see things in a little bit, very much different light, I am afraid. So now I'm going to have to do whatever is required by the law to do. To follow basically the law. You can see the issues that I have mentioned in my video about this kind of stuff now in a, in, in a very very different forms. You can see that but you can also see that the proofs for MK Ultra that I was exposed to that I have received at this very companies could also be used to keep one 
within an element that can be used to uh, leave detrimental stroke for individual to basically completely destroy him. It all depends how you really see it. And right now, when I think about when this, this took place, uh, basically on a way toward my recovery, I do feel that this was done. I'm going to repeat the words. That's where you turn yourself into a shit. That's why we're going to do it the way we're going to do it. We're going to disregard the MK Ultra and we're going to do exactly as if a normal person would do. Go through the state offices and follow up through that stuff. Just as you should follow. Oh wow, this is just changing. I'm going to say completely, completely changing the whole thing. But you can see a bunch of things, a bunch of offers here that you can do the stuff that did not exist like I said and we can go on and on and on and on and on and this is the idea this is the whole thing this is the idea okay now if I'm gonna continue to do this I'm not gonna get anywhere today it's loading extremely extremely slowly and it doesn't go anywhere so now that's how we're going to do that kind of stuff. Something I was promised that under MK Ultra, this is just going to be done for me to see other opportunities out there which I, which I should pursue rather than this one here because this is, well, that eventually I'm going to be offer this opportunity back and even some money and stuff like this and then you had one lady that gestured American black lady that gestured that she got another job and at that a job that she described the job that went on at this place and then that she got another job and that this was the worst job and another job that she got everything was okay life of, was wonderful afterwards and it was the same thing with some americans they also insisted uh on this kind of stuff well folks for me that kind of stuff doesn't do absolutely anything to keep you at this place Americans brainwashed from the beginning of this job that for various locations around that what they do is they hire because there was a company that displays the sign that they are hiring people that they hire this companies out there the only thing they do is they hire uh, people seasonally and it's this company where I'm from, however, where the job is so difficult, it's the company where you actually get to stay. It's actually the job that you get to keep. But that I'm going to make a mistake and I'm going to apply in another company over there and stuff like this. This was the brainwash, folks, for this company here alone. MK Ultra, a real MK Ultra brainwash turned into scenario. So, okay, I mean, if we're going to play like this, if if then if things are going to be like this, and then okay, then in that case, the money, uh, well, compensation is not going to do absolutely anything for me at this point in time. Uh, this is one thing. And the second thing is, well, what else is here to say? Vote for the conscience. Wow, this is just, uh, it's just, it just keeps throwing me back and forth that I cannot even, uh, it's basically selecting the pages itself. It's a little bit difficult. It's loading very slowly and it does not leave me with, uh, with I'm going to say, control of any kind. I cannot even move here. I would like to keep, click on a page 11. I did not even click anything and it's just going or maybe somebody else clicking this thing. I have no idea. Maybe this is totally remotely guided. This thing is displaying the strange signs because when you type, again, uh, 
not the right letters appear when you type and so on. So, I don't know. I just really want to get rid of this tablet. I never want to have, never want to experience one again. This was not a good experience for me, this tablet. I would strictly not recommend a tablet. Uh, it's something what I think you should never ever use. It's about the worst thing possible. If you are into uh, stuff that you want for a serious stuff, uh, in my opinion, this is just not an instrument you want to use. Okay. But what you see here is like unbelievable. No, I did not do it. I didn't do it. Okay. But I'm glad it did it so it demonstrates the amount of money and so on for how much the whole thing is rented. Okay. It's a good stuff, actually. I'm glad. Okay, now having said this is already one hour and six minutes, this thing is, um, well, let's go to page 12, see that one. Okay, we did not even get to anywhere range 650, and you can see that it's loaded. The internet now is loaded with the real estate um, rental offers. You can see what's going on here, right? I do not have to, uh, I really don't have to, they want Kautia for 580 Zloty, which is basically one month of rent and whatever electricity is costs. Deposit 580 Zloty. And that would be rent with what is cost for the electricity and so on in the center of the lodge. Your own apartment. So this is this is quite uh, quite shocking, no? Quite shocking what they all of a sudden what they offer. And you can see right here, room 590, uh, polytechnic student. A room in a new apartment for 590 plus parking and so on and so on and so on you can just see this here and the studio in the center of the lodge you can see right here Eight hundred and fifty zloty for your own studio in the center of the lodge, with the heating, with the electricity, with absolutely everything. Here you have the room in the center of the lodge, actually in Bavuti, for 590 a month. And for 590 a month, you get everything. You get any electricity, you get everything, including the internet and everything else. So, that's how that function, heating and so on. So, um, no, I am... I'm quite shocked in respect to in respect to what I'm about to show you. The last I want to really thank for this kind of help, for this kind of assistance. Uh, and I do like people to well you know actually investigate about these offers because in the same fashion they try to sell me a car. Well, and in the same fashion, they try to sell the house.
you have for two people with everything for 900 zloty, the whole apartment. This is up to 600, and 600 zloty. I'm not going to even go further than up from 600 zloty. I'm not going to go any up, any higher than that. Uh, strange it is throwing me away into some other pages and so on. Better to keep, better to hold a small bird in your hands than let one go and reach out for the big one on the roof. This is 630 and for 650 you get everything they say, right? This is in the center of the watch. It looks pretty big. Yeah, just just the amount of the real estate that is offered is is fascinating, eh? What's what's offered out there to the people? It's quite fascinating. Uh, I guess that what I should do right now, I should quickly, according to this logic, reach out right to the scenario that i suggested to reach out for one of these places move to watch and then this location here which probably would be offered really to me back as a source of employment would become not really accessible so one way or the other they manipulate in a such a way uh these things that um you get completely lost along the way one way or the other that's what they calculate, they all calculate, calculate how they they do to you things. Yeah, I would say so that um, when they try to get rid of you, society as this is, you can quickly get a better paid job or you can quickly get a cheaper place. The question is only for how long and what follows next. That's all for this video, folks. Um, I am going to end one. With what I have just received about. Now three. No, at four o'clock I did. That's about two hours and 40 minutes ago. And I am recording this one one hour and something. Oh, we can see it actually. It's about one hour and 15 minutes long. And I already did once. Somehow it stopped recording. Whatever. How did all this start? This kind of thing, how they started this thing here? The firing process? Well... You know, they started one with
purchase. This is all lie. This is a big lie, the whole thing here. That I did not want to extend the contract is a total lie. Um, and what is it that I was not rated due to my performance or something like this? It's unsatisfactory or something like this. Um, well, all this started about two days ago when I purchased a telephone. I purchased a telephone from a media mark here for about 65 zloty, which is like super cheap. But this was a telephone that was on display, but it was on the internet. I paid for it and they would not deliver to me a receipt for it for one. But they did deduct the money from uh, for the purchase from the banking account. So you would have the proof. Then what they would do is a few hours later, already after I would contact that morning an individual at the media market, uh, in charge for internet department. Well, he explained that he is not the person in charge for uh, for internet department. Um, <laughs> at least he was unwilling to help, even that this was the number that supposed to assist me. Um, well, that actually they would not sell me the phone that they're going to refund me the money back on the account and stuff. As you know, from a consumer point of view, consumer protection services, this is a legal act. But it's implication into complaint. Uh, it's costs in additional loss of time, basically. And so they start the cluster like this on which this one follows up. This is all so well connected, all this stuff here. <laughs> that you would have to be blind really not to see what's going on here. Okay, so that's all for this video, folks. Um, what does it says here? That uh, I did not want to extend uh, the work contract. Okay, this is a complete lie. that I did not arrive on, that I was invited and that I would not appear, that I would come uh, to, uh, to a talk. This is a total nonsense, complete nonsense it is. Uh, and even the grade for the work performance did not, was not satisfactory. Uh, so in that case, she further lied that she could not even get a hold of me. Uh, so for that uh, reason that I'm basically fired now. So, you know, I actually did even spoke to her. Uh, the telephone might have even ringed briefly, just briefly enough, so I could not even hear one. And this was actually the reason that she chose uh, to get me fired. Okay, cool. That's all I got to say. And vote for the conscience if you're Polish.